Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. This is the next episode of my VR and AR weekly news, this time with week 40, 2023. So I'm a little bit stressed and out of time because of this little guy here, the MetaQuest 3. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I'm preparing the review, so it will be online soon. Please be a little bit patient but then I will show it. For now, you will find everything about VR and AR, hardware, games, releases and sales. Thank you to my sponsors, Vutkos VR, Opperman Events and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! So guys, if you pre-ordered the big screen Beyond, it will deliver a little bit later because they say they have some bottlenecks for different components and so on. And uh, yeah, of course, there's a big chain behind all that stuff. And yeah, there's also a ch uh, or always a chance that uh, this could uh, have a delay. So this is uh, for US orders. If you ordered in February, uh, most of the headsets uh, or 45% should be delivered by October 6th and so on. For example, when you ordered in August or September, uh, your big screen beyond will uh, deliver around December 6 to December 22. So right before Christmas, that's right. <laughs> so guys, uh, the Big Screen Beyond is a really nice headset, very small, very comfortable. So if you didn't see my test, you can find it in the info cards and also the link to buy it. It's, it's the future of VR, I would say. So uh, the Quest 3 is around the corner and I, you know I already have it and I'm preparing the review. It will arrive soon on my channel, I promise. And I noticed that in my uh, emails there is a lot of stuff popping up with uh, mixed reality. So the develop developers writing me, uh, Voodoo, can you try our mixed reality stuff? Yes, of course I can. So as an example, the developers of Aspire 2 wrote me, uh, could you try uh, the mixed reality update of Aspire 2? Yes, of course, <laughs> I want to try that. And I wonder how cool that is. So look at this. Um, there's happening something in your real living room or in the kitchen. <laughs> you can hunt the people there. And I wonder how, how good the, the fun is with that. Because, I mean, you are, you are not uh, in the next uh, level <laughs> because you just live in the same apartment, right? Uh, I'm wondering how that works. So I'm really looking forward to that. I will try a lot of stuff uh, in, on my channel, uh, what mixed reality belongs. And this is just one example. So there's an update for one of the most popular VR apps called Virtual Desktop. So with this app you can not only show your virtual desktop, but you can also stream PC VR games to standalone headsets. And this new update is uh, now supporting Quest 3 and the uh, face and eye tracking of the Pro Quest Pro. Really nice. So I uh, tried it already with the Quest 3. It didn't work, but I think I, I missed the update. I just missed the update uh, of, um, for uh, two hours or something like that. I will try it again. If I can't make it in the uh, review, I will show a separate video later, of course. And uh, yeah, there's also the AV1 video codec support for the Quest 3. Unfortunately, I, I still don't have uh, 40 series of NVIDIA, but I will buy it soon, perhaps in the sale, Prime Day or Black Friday or something like that. Then I will get one and I will do a video later then if it's cool. But uh, the developers of uh, Virtual Desktop say that the Quest 3 is the best uh, PC VR streaming headset so far. I mean, <laughs> I could tell you something about that, but I'm still not allowed. Please wait a little bit, yeah? So, uh, yeah, nice update of virtual desktop. So, for all you guys that look forward to Behemoth, um, that's got a one-year delay. So, it uh, should have um, released on late 2023 and the new date is late 2024. One year delay. But, I mean, why not? If they improve the game, if it works, perfect, looks good then, why not? Yeah, it's, it's better than uh, releasing an uh, unfinished title. So it's a VR action RPG, a big one, and it will be released on MetaQuest, PlayStation VR 2 and PC VR. I wonder when it's released end of 2024 if it will still support the Quest 2. Perhaps only Quest 3. We will see, we will see. I'm, I'm looking forward to that game. 
Uh, and by the way, they renamed it from Behemoth to Skydance's Behemoth. <laughs> so guys, as I said, there's a lot of mixed reality uh, stuff coming from the devs to my emails. Uh, and also uh, some graphic upgrades for the Quest uh, 2 games to Quest 3. And there's a lot of stuff incoming. And I mean, I, <laughs> I, I worked... Even I can see in the background here while recording this video, my, my emails are uh, popping up here with, with some VR stuff. It's crazy. Guys, you, you cannot imagine how much work that stuff is. The, the last days, I think... I only slept like five hours and um, just eat one banana and drink a little bit of water because I just didn't have time for something else. Just only VR. I even took two days of vacation from my uh, uh, full-time job yeah, as IT administrator and uh, I still were... It's crazy. <laughs> I need somebody who's helping me with that stuff. Wow, but it's still a lot of fun. It's still a lot of fun. Sorry, sometimes when I'm talking about other stuff uh, off topic, but yeah, it's, it's, I, I need to tell you some, sometimes that stuff. So, uh, upgraded games. Drop that dual strike. Nice. Aspire 2. So, you see that's not only the mixed reality, uh, it's also uh, getting visual updates. Golf Plus, Guardians Frontline. Hubris, that's what I'm really looking forward to. Let's see how that looks. And Red Matter 2, I already tried that on Quest 3. Awesome. The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Vermilion, Zen of the Last City and also some other stuff like Apex Construct, Broken Edge, Dungeons of Eternity, Deism, Puzzling Places, Cactus Cowboy, Clean Sheet, Bring Traveler. And also, they mentioned some other cool stuff. Among Us VR, A Township Tale, Barbaria, Blade and Sorcery, Budget Cuts, Bone Lab, Call of the Sea, Fit XR, Gods of Gravity, Into the Radius, guys. Islanders VR, Job Simulator, Orbus VR, Pixel Rip, then even Population 1 will get a Quest 3 update. Raccoon Lagoon, Saints and Sinners Chapter 2, Toss, We Are One and Windlands 2. So, the Quest 3 isn't even released. And there are so many uh, Quest 3 upgrades of so nice and important games popping up. Wow! So the hype is real. I'm totally looking forward to, to try all that stuff. Yeah? I mean, I, I can't uh, include that all in my, in my Quest, 3 view, uh, Quest 3 review, then it will last like 8 hours. <laughs> but uh, yeah, after my review I will show you definitely some cool scenes about the upgrades of some games. How is your hype? So guys, and one other example I want to show you, mixed reality. So, Laser Dance is coming to uh, Quest in 2024 and that's very, very interesting. Uh, look, at, look at this. So, in your real living room, there will be some laser traps that you have to avoid and to dodge and so on. And uh, that, that's just amazing. So, I mean, I already said that in my first impressions video. Um, the Quest 3's mixed reality tracking is really good. So, the laser beam stays at the same point. So, it could be a lot of fun to do that. Look at this video. So, this is in your real uh, apartment and the, the guy is just waiting for the uh, laser to, to disappear. And then he's going through that. And that's, that's so much fun. I mean, you will also move a lot. How cool is that? I can't wait to try that. Wow. <laughs> Half-Life 3 confirmed. Yeah, no, not really, but perhaps. So Valve um, hired the developer of the Half-Life Alyx mods, Incursion and Re-Education, Nate Grove. And that's very, very interesting. He's, he says that he, he, it was always a dream of him to work for Valve and now he can do that. But why on earth should Valve hire somebody that uh, made the Half-Life Elix mods? I don't think because he should uh, develop a jump and run game or something like that. So perhaps they are really working on something Half-Life stuff. Alex 2 or Half-Life 3 VR only. I, I don't know. I don't know. 
but it, it's very interesting. So we, we, it's still rumors, God, oh my God, only rumors. But uh, when we can take something, some information out of that is that uh, it could be a long time until the next Half-Life uh, will appear when you just hired one to, to help with a, with a new game or so. But I'm pretty sure the next Half-Life, whatever game, AAA game, will be released together with the new Index 2 or however that new headset is called. So, uh, yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Can, you, can we take something out of this information about the hired um, Half-Life Elix model? What do you think? Write in the comments below. And let's check out the releases this week. On Steam we have Bad Dreams, a solo VR horror game. It's for free. Eve 8 VR. That's an uh, yeah, arcade shooting game. Then Ghost Signal, a Solaris game. I showed that on my channel. It's really nice. It's an action uh, VR strategy game. You should definitely pl play that. Wild Hunting. Yeah, a hunting game, of course. Project Chimera is a puzzle adventure game. Then on Quest, we have Dungeons of Eternity. Absolutely awesome. I totally love this game. Check out my video about this game. Then on the PlayStation VR 2, also a Ghost Signal looks awesome, of course, on the PlayStation VR 2. Then we have a PlayStation VR 2 version of Red Matter, awesome. And Project Wingman Frontline 59, also a action jet fighting game. Yeah, I didn't get something from Pico again. No idea what they are doing. I, I really hope the uh, Pico store will uh, appear soon so that I can show you the releases more reliable. Yeah, and let's check out the sales. On Steam we have Arizona Sunshine, still in my opinion one of the best single player zombie shooters. 75% <clears throat> off. Then Boiling Steel, also a nice single player shooter. 50% off. Then we have a bundle, Crow Team VR bundle. There's for example the Talos Principle. Or, yeah, um, Serious Sam and stuff, it's 79% off. You should really check it out. Then we have Mask Maker, nice adventure puzzle game, 80% off. There's also a bundle that you can check out. See, here, that's what I meant, a Serious Sam. And then uh, Fisherman's Tale, there's also a bundle, but for example, the first part is 74% off. Really awesome. Then on the PlayStation VR 2, we have after the full complete edition, multiplayer zombie shooter is 50% off and another Fisherman's Tale is also 20% off. And please don't forget the VR Humble bundle. Um, I, I have no idea how long this will still last, but uh, you should definitely check it out. There are some very cool games. So guys, this were the weekly news. I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Wurde wie ich.